So my name is Stephen Hawes. I used to work at Form Labs three and a half years ago, and I'm back for the hackathon. Everyone picks their own project, they decide what the scope is going to be, they figure out what they need to do to facilitate it, and they own it, and they bring it to fruition in, you know, two and a half, three days. That is one of my favorite parts about being here, and being involved with the kind of people who are like that. We have what amounts to a very over-engineered uh, potato cannon. We were interested in the behavior of our materials when they experience high impact uh, at high speeds with each other. The more fun answer is we wanted to see what happens if we fire our materials faster than a Formula One car. I'm trying to design my own version of a sewing machine. So a typical sewing machine, you have to have access to both sides of the fabric. I'm kind of going back to the drawing board and trying to design a machine where you only need access to one side of the fabric, which is a pretty tricky design problem and it, it ends up with some cool mechanical complexity. Our team worked on basically a 3D display to play the game of asteroids. When the, the RGB lasers are on like it looks just like like one continuous thing it's a lot of fun to play and it's a lot of fun to make so this is a powder melt extruder we're using a fdm 3d printer to drive powder into a hot zone and melt it our team's goal was to be able to mix multiple types of fused powder to get like variable strength parts here in Shenzhen, we participated in one of our global hackathon projects where multiple offices produced a fully 3D printed piece of artwork that would sync with each location to display the same thing. Definitely my favorite part is just how it connects a very global company and highlights the talent and creativity in our colleagues around the world. We are working on a CNC mill, but entirely, or for the most part, 3D printed. Uh, we're super happy about this. It's been a fun challenge getting it just right. We made an inverted espresso machine instead of the water and the piston moving down to then pour your espresso this way, it actually moves up and you get a little cup of espresso that rises out from the machine. This is Rugrat, it's a rug tufting robot. There's these rug tufting mechanisms that are handheld and then as I got better and better at the hobby it got harder and harder to do complex shapes. I eventually did one so complicated I lost my mind and decided to design this thing. We actually have a working thing. These are, these are rugs on the bottom side. I think Hackathon is really cool because it really embodies a lot of Formlabs' core values. It's really an opportunity for us to express ourselves and be creative about our projects. And we're given a lot of resources and both in terms of time and materials to like accomplish those goals.